We know that the varsity. I might cry. Yeah, that's why. Right. Come here. We're Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet to see all 50 states in a year. In our last video, we were in Greenville, South Carolina, where we spent the day with family exploring the quaint downtown, watched a beautiful sunset from an amazing rooftop bar, and had a wild game dinner at one of our favorite restaurants. This week, we're in the Peach State. Welcome to Georgia. Georgia. It's no secret that the South knows how to cook and Georgia is no exception to that. Being home to such iconic foods like Georgia peaches, Vidalia onions, Chick-fil-A, and Coca-Cola, we knew that we had to explore the food scene here. And what better way to do that than by doing a food tour right here in Atlanta. We asked you guys in our Instagram story some of your favorite food recommendations and you guys did not disappoint. Along with your recommendations and a lot of research, <laughs> we've mapped out a awesome food tour where we're going to be checking out some of the most iconic Atlanta restaurants plus some newer ones. And first up on the list is a place that came highly recommended from one of our good friends, Amanda Mejias. She said she is very passionate about these donuts, <laughs> so we're really excited. Let's dive in. just left Sublime Donuts and the only bad part was it was all takeout. Yeah, we're kind of getting used to that, but we were a little bummed when we showed up and it was takeout only. So we're standing in a random parking lot here eating off the trunk of our car. <laughs> I got the iced animal cracker cookie donut. Mm -hmm. I don't really know the exact name of the cookie, <laughs> but that's what it is. Mine's a little easier to remember the Fruity Pebble donut. <laughs> and she said the Fruity Pebble was one of the most popular ones. Mm -hmm. I got mine because it was pink and cute, so. <laughs> Both of them are actually off menu items items but I guess they have them sometimes sometimes they don't but let's dive in let's do it I've been waiting all morning all right here we go fruity pebble donut oh it's even filled with like fruity pebble icing that is really good the dough's not really sweet so it helps the icing not seem quite as sweet don't get me wrong it's still a sugar overload but I'm okay with that <laughs> Ready for it? I didn't know that it was filled. Gotta, now I'm about it. You gotta get this side over here. Okay, That's the I'll filled get it. part. Ready? Yep. Ooh! <laughs> so good you got it on your face. <laughs> that filling is legit. All right. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. All right, we're gonna try yours now. See the cute little cookies on it? Ooh. I love a good crunch. I think I just spit. <laughs> it's got a good crunch. Oh, the icing's so good. This dough is really good. Is that like a strawberry icing? I think it is. Yeah, so strawberry icing. I know you love this. Natalie is a crunch texture kind of gal. I am, I love crunchy. Which works out, because when we make brownies or something at home, I, I eat all the center sheets, all the And I eat the edges, edges. <laughs> it's perfect. But no, so that cookie, you would think it might would have gotten like soggy, stale or yeah. soggy. Nope. But I think the fact that it's iced, it protects it from soaking up all the moisture. So you still get that crunch from the cookie with that super soft dough, really good. I can see why you guys recommended this, <laughs> so good. It's nice to be back in the air conditioning and we are now headed to the Varsity. So we know that the Varsity is more of a touristy spot and a lot of Atlanta locals probably haven't been here since they came here on a field trip in elementary school, but it's an iconic Atlanta landmark. So we had to come here to at least show you the place because if you've never been, it's kind of one of those places that you should come to at least once. It's a lot of fun. It was built in 1928, but I bet this place was popping in the 1950s. <laughs> we also it. got little hats, which I'm excited that Matt is participating. We got onion rings, which I'm really excited about. A chili dog and a just a cheeseburger with lettuce tomato on it and a frosted orange which is a necessity if you come to the varsity 
I had a sip and it's really good. <laughs> it is the largest drive-in in the world. Mm -hmm. It has 600 parking spots yep. and it's over two acres, this whole property. I love onion rings. <laughs> and these are good. I really like a Hormel chili from the can. <laughs> <laughs> so I like this. <laughs> And for those wondering what the frosted orange is, it's like a orange creamsicle slushy. It's good though. So that was such a good time. The food, eh, I could take it or leave it, but it's a nostalgic place that's worth coming to. If you like food tour videos like this one, please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below with what city you would like to see us do a food tour in soon. We put out a new video every Thursday, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you hit the notification bell in case we're a little late, <laughs> so you'll be the first one to know when we put it out. You can also follow us on Instagram at Adventures of Matt and Nat for story highlights of every trip. What time is it? Fried chicken time. Oh yeah. All right, we got the goods. Got the goods here at Busy Bee Cafe. Unfortunately, Damn, yeah. they are carry out only. That As seems, well. seems to be the trend yeah. here in Atlanta right now. So but we're gonna have to find a park to eat in. Yep. And I'm really excited. This is voted the best fried chicken. Yep, best fried here chicken in Atlanta. In Atlanta, supposedly. <laughs> we'll find out. But I'm excited about it. It only took us eight hours to find parking. Yeah, so hopefully our food is still at least warm. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold it against Busy Bee Cafe if yeah. the chicken is not crispy <laughs> because it's been in a to-go container for 20 minutes or so. <laughs> yeah, that's the only big problem with big cities is parking. Yeah, it's always tough. We were just driving around and driving around hoping something would come open. We finally got it, so we're gonna go eat. Okay, so we got the Busy Bees signature fried chicken. We got dark meat. We only got one, it was $17. Yeah, it was one plate, it comes with two pieces of chicken, and we got- Cornbread dressing. And I ordered the mac and cheese for my side. And you get a corn muffin yeah. or a yeast roll. I picked the cornbread dressing, and here it is. Oh, I just dropped some. Oh. That was good, it has gravy. That's mm. really good. Oh, what is it's, uh, that's got meat in there. It's kind of like your traditional dressing, like a you know Thanksgiving dressing, and they even serve it with some cranberry on the side. Mm. But uh, that that gravy they put on it is it's, what like that's to die for. And has it got celery or something in it as oh, well? Oh, I think it does. Yeah, it's got celery in it, which I'm usually not a celery person, but it really complements this cornbread and the gravy really well. Cheddar cheese. Mm-hmm. It's like got a kick to it. It's got like a like a tart. Yeah, it's not it's probably a sharp Ooh, cheddar. That's good. Sharp cheddar mac and cheese. Uh, it's I got really flavor. Like the mac and cheese slaps. The cornbread dressing slaps. <laughs> Together they slaps. Is that how you say it? <laughs> Lord have mercy. I don't know. What you mean? The sweet tea is really good too. Oh, I haven't even had any. I can see why this place is top rated in Atlanta. We've also got to keep an eye on our car back here behind us. We're this. not 100% sure we parked in a, a legit so spot. So if I see a record pull up, <laughs> I'm going to be sprinting <laughs> as hard as I can over there to get my car out of the spot before they hook it oh, up. Oh, taste those. It's like the chicken skin fat. Ooh. Right? Yeah, it's just like a fried piece of chicken skin. Oh, breaded chicken skin. yeah. Look at that. Right? No, it's really good. I can see why they charge so much money. Yep. I, I get it. Even with the breading not being completely crispy, yeah. that's not their fault. This is so good. Yum town. Mm. All right, so we're gonna go finish it. Busy Bee Cafe. It's where it's at for fried chicken here in Atlanta. Slaps. <laughs> We literally just finished our chicken. We still have our sides. And Matt literally jumped up as soon as he saw a tow truck pull up. That was a close one. The car parked in front of us, I think has a ticket, but this, there was a spot that wasn't open when we got here. There was a meter spot. So I pulled up to the meter spot and paid like $2 and we got an hour. So 
High five. Otherwise, we would definitely have a ticket or be towed. So we're tired of eating. <laughs> yeah, we gotta take a little break <laughs> from it. So we're gonna head to one of our favorite little neighborhoods here in Atlanta. It's called Little Five Points, and it has some awesome vintage and thrift shopping. Plus, our next restaurant stop is there too. So let's go. I've been looking for these. How did you know? Perfect. <laughs> So many of you requested that we do this one. Yep. The Vortex. Mm -hmm. Great burgers and an interesting place. Let's just say I've that. I've never been, so I'm excited. <laughs> Let's go. Someone's a little tired. And I think it probably has to do with the amount of food that we're eating. Cause. <laughs> That's actually really good. Bacon's really good. That pickle's like a, uh, it's like a fresher pickle. I'm kind of nervous because this is one of the most popular ones and it's something that I would not have normally ordered, but I am uh, getting outside of my comfort zone. And also these tater tots are legit. <laughs> We just had a homeless man say that we are a beautiful couple. <laughs> and that the best nation in the world is a I donation. Didn't... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, little five points here in Atlanta. The best way Super I know to cool. describe it from places that I've been is it's like East Nashville meets Asheville, North Carolina. We're rushing back to the car because our parking meter is about to expire, but our food at the Vortex oh was... Oh my gosh, you guys did not disappoint. No. So many of you recommended it, so thank you so much. Yep. It was fire. It was. We got the Pickle Rick burger, and since we've been eating all day, we just split one. Yeah, I um, wish I was hungry enough to get my own burger because it was so yeah. good. But they're, we got it with tater tots, and their tots are so crispy oh and gosh. good. But the Pickle Rick is a burger. It's one of their signature burgers. It's topped with fried pickles, whiskey pimento cheese, Ooh. bacon, and their house-made Szechuan sauce. And but guess where we're going now? And eat some more, eat some more so we got to -go box. let's <laughs> do it. I thought this was a necklace that this gentleman was wearing. He's my favorite necklace. <laughs> okay, pet this way? Pet this way. This way. Not wet or slimy or anything. No, it's not. He's looking at me though. It's fine. It's <laughs> <like> you. <laughs> Are you feeling brave? I do. I do feel better. No, not that brave. <laughs> I was gonna, you you will never get this opportunity again. Go ahead, take take a picture with him around your neck. I'm I'm right here the whole time. He's not gonna bother you. Uh -huh. Can you do it? Can you okay. face your fears? Okay. Can you can you face your fears? We're, we're facing fears we're today. Fears I today. might cry. Yeah, it's fine. Come here. Come here. <laughs> listen, listen, come come here. You're fine. Put Do I look like Britney Spears? <laughs> Do I look like Britney Spears? <laughs> <laughs> she did what's, it. Yeah, what's yeah. his name? Fat Boy. Fat Boy. <laughs> yeah. you, mean, you and Fat Boy became friends today. Did we though? Did we? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot you believe did. I freaking you did that. On. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my heart is racing. You have no idea. I am so proud of myself. I'm no, not gonna awesome. Y'all were good. Y'all were good. It's so nice to meet you. I was not prepared for that. I'm literally shaking. <laughs> you did it. Peer pressure is awful. All right. Atlanta police, get your crap together because you gave us a parking ticket at 554 for an expired meter that we paid for till 625. We're not paying this. <laughs> it's not happening. 
So we just got to Ponce City Market, which has a bunch of stores and restaurants and a food hall, and I'm so excited. <laughs> so it's actually in what used to be a Sears and Roebuck regional headquarters and retail shop that opened in 1926. And it's huge. Oh, it's massive, and it has been Ponce City Market since 2014. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> If you know anything about me, just know if they have mango sorbet on any menu, I'm getting it. Yeah. And they did. This is from King of Pop. If you know Atlanta, then you know King of Pop. King of Pop is gourmet popsicles, but I went pretty basic this time. Strawberry lemonade. We should have eaten here. There's so There's... many restaurants. I just wanted to eat at every single one of them. Like we have to come back. Yeah, this place is really cool. I would say it's probably one of the best done oh. food halls. Mm -hmm. Nothing was spared. You can okay. tell they sunk a lot of money into this place. Whenever we come back to Atlanta, we are definitely coming back here and doing an extensive <laughs> food hall review. What do you think? Mine's good. Very refreshing, which is why I need him. hanging out we just watched sunset we're just chilling enjoying this beautiful weather mm -hmm. and i think i'm ready for another dessert i, I think <laughs> we've got one more stop in us we couldn't come to georgia without having some good georgia peach cobbler yeah and the place we're headed to now came highly recommended from a lot of you so let's go at Mary Max Tea Room. Don't be deceived, it is not a tea room. It is a full restaurant that serves good home cooking, meat and three style. They bring an entire bread basket out with cinnamon rolls, yeast rolls, and corn muffins out to your table. And we, I know we said we were just coming to get peach cobbler, but once we got in here and smelled it and saw it, we caved under peer pressure. So we're eating full meal now. <laughs> So in the 1940s, after the World War, there were a lot of widows and women weren't allowed to own restaurants so that they could own tea rooms. Yeah. So that's why it's called a tea room. Yep, interesting, a nice little fact yeah. we learned from our waiter. It's been declared by the Georgia House of Representatives that this is Atlanta's dining room. Yeah. Pretty Which, cool spot. Yeah, it's really awesome. So now, for the grand finale. <laughs> the Georgia Peach Cobbler. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this. All right, enough talking about it. <laughs> Try it a couple more times. Oh, you don't like it. You don't like peach cobbler. I do like peach cobbler, but you sure? It tastes like sun tanning lotion to me. What? <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, I'll eat it. I thought a cobbler had like crumbly stuff on it. Mm -mm. What is that? That's a pie. Cobbler is kind of like a pie without a shell. It's got a top, top thing on it. Yeah, that's like usually crumbly. Oh, all the time. Well, that's what I thought it was going to be. So, <laughs> Natalie is not a fan of Georgia Peach Cobbler. Not this one. Sorry. So we just finished dinner and I got the Brunswick stew, which was really good. It was very acidic though. And I got the pot roast, which was really good. The broth was super salty. I had, that's what I tried first by itself was the broth. But once you put it all together, it actually was it really was good. It was so good. The Brunswick stew was really good too. It was very meaty. It was yep. not like a soup. No, it, it was a stew. The cream corn was great. Ooh, yeah. Fried okra could have used a little more love. It was a little not crispy. And Natalie you know my wasn't. opinion on 
the peach yeah. cobbler. It wasn't. Honestly, and I'm not going to disagree with her. Like, it wasn't the best peach cobbler. It I'm was not like going to lie. Buffet cobbler. It kind of tasted like buffet peach cobbler, which yeah. I was disappointed because this place was the place to come for peach cobbler. This and one other place called Aunt Evelyn's were supposed to be the best. So, well, guess what? We're going to have to come back and try Aunt Evelyn's. <laughs> I guess so. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I am so stuffed. Matt is going to have to roll me out of Atlanta. <laughs> me? You can be rolling me out. I ate just as much or more than oh you did. Oh my gosh. We done <laughs> did it today, y'all. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We no. really did our best. We <laughs> well, ate we so much for you. We did. And there's a whole lot more where this comes from because we've still got 32 more states to get to. That's so crazy. Which is very crazy. <laughs> so please hit that subscribe button and notify notification bell so you don't miss out on a single upload. We'll see you guys next week in state number 19. <laughs> so we are now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they call that the pencil building and it is like a pencil. <laughs> if you bank with Bank of America like we do, that's where all your fees go. I want a closet like this. But it's too overwhelming to shop. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I swear to you all my life that I saw T-Pain and he's sitting over there. I don't want to film obviously, but I think I saw T-Pain and I'm going to tell Matt and see if he thinks that it's T-Pain too. I'm a bad you would Copyright issues, so I'm probably going to have to bleep out a word. So I was told that I look like Tina Marie. I don't know who that is. Why are you saying soul music? Tina Marie. We're going to have to look for her. I'm going to have to look her up now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>